Hello, today's lecture will be about feature photos. How feature photos differ from a news photo is that, or an event photo, is that there's not a real time element to feature stories. They're not urgent. They don't have to be run this week or they become irrelevant. Um, you can run them next week, the week after. They have a, a, a timeless type of feel to them and a much longer sh uh, shelf life than events do or breaking news. Uh, a house fire that happened two months ago is no longer newsworthy. A um, basketball game that happened two months ago, also not worthy. A uh, downtown celebration for um, you know, the mayor, that was two months ago, once again, not newsworthy. But there are certain things, like say a profile on a celebrity, that is always going to be interesting. Uh, the person may become irrelevant over time, but there will be someone out there that is interested in that celebrity and would still want to see photos or hear uh, a story about this person or see a story about this person. So basically the places that you get a feature from are from people, places, programs and problems. It's kind of nice that they all start with the letter P, but uh, let's start with people. A people feature is telling you about someone who is interesting. They don't necessarily have to be a celebrity, a public figure. Most people are interesting and have a story to tell. Take pictures of those people. Tell the story of their life through the photos. And most people, since we are a uh, social animal, will find this type of story interesting. And it'll have that long shelf life that I uh, just mentioned. You know, um, it doesn't have to be run this week because that person will stop being interesting next week. Places are just places in our uh, community, uh, still proximity needed there, um, that are just interesting. Um, you know, since we are in the greater Louisville area here, um, Churchill Downs is an interesting place. Uh, some of the museums around are interesting places. In southern Indiana, um, Starlight Indiana, and the Huber Farm, and the Huber Winery, two different places, um, are just interesting places. There's, there's a feature story there. You know, take pictures of those places and let those pictures uh, tell that story. Uh, programs is a little headier. Um, you know, this is programs that um, institutions have established to somehow benefit the community, um, such as a, a, a soup kitchen or an after school learning center. Yeah, still a place places with people, but it's also a program that has been set up that um, will benefit those around them. And, you know, it might be newsworthy when they first open up, but after a few years, they're still newsworthy because it's an interesting program. It's an interesting uh, place. It's an interesting bunch of people. All those things make for an interesting photo story. And of course there are problems that our communities face that also make for um, good photos. If uh, we seem to have some uh, illegal dumping going on in the area, and it's not a breaking news story, it's something that has been going on for a while in a community. Uh, for some reason people keep dumping all their stuff in this one ditch. Well, there's a problem that needs to be pointed out through photos and photojournalism. And, you know, yeah, it's better if you ran it today than tomorrow, but it'll have a shelf life because it's an ongoing problem. Uh, homelessness, there's an ongoing problem that uh, makes for interesting uh, photojournalism and also helps uh, shine light to help those people who are may find themselves homeless. So those are the four areas that you can usually find a good uh, feature photo story in. Uh, as mentioned, the characteristic, uh, characteristics of feature stories are they're timeless. They tend to be a little slice of life, something that you know goes on on a regular basis, an everyday type of event. Uh, some features are news features. They are somehow tied into something that has the uh, standard 
news characteristics of timeliness, proximity, um, conflict, uh, notoriety, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And you can sometimes tie in a, a breaking news story uh, to a feature. Um, for example, um, let's say there was a, um, a robbery downtown of uh, a liquor store. And this is the fifth liquor store that has been hit in the past three months. Well, this is an ongoing problem. That makes it a feature story. And if you can take a picture of, you know, what happened at this most recent event, the other places, the other people involved, the people who are trying to solve the crime, you can tie in this news feature to this breaking news story. Events, um, just uh, finished the Super Bowl. Well, try to find a someone who has a tie to the Super Bowl, a, a player, a person, uh, a family member, someone in the community who has been to all 50-something Super Bowls. So something like that that yeah, it, it may have a, l a little less shelf life than um, most feature stories, but you know, still isn't something that is uh, so important to be told today that it can't be told next week. Uh, and one thing to look for when you are shooting uh, a, a feature story is there's going to be some emotions behind it. Um, you know, uh, when you have a feature story about a person, they of course are emotional people, and you want to get behind those feelings, show those feelings through your photos. Um, you know, a problem like homelessness, there's a lot of emotions involved with that. Um, so anything that you know, you can pull on those heartstrings, usually lends itself to a good feature story. Uh, some tips there are a lot of cliched feature stories out there. Um, you know, one that uh, comes along on a school campus all the time, it, it doesn't matter which school campus it is, is uh, a profile of the person who changes the sign out front. It's not really that interesting or a profile of um, the head of the campus and in the case of IU Southeast that would be the Chancellor. Uh, if, if it's been done recently you, you don't need to uh, do that uh, feature story again. Um, if it's been a few years and uh, definitely more than four you may want to consider it again but um, try to come up with fresh ideas, things that you haven't heard of before that you are interested in. When you are uh, talking about people, places, and um, uh, problems, y you want that those candid photos, not the posed photos. You, you want to see behind the scenes, the person's everyday life, uh, what's really going on with this program, this problem, in this place, rather than, oh, everyone, you know, let's... Uh, um, only sh show the good parts, only uh, show people staring at the camera looking their best. You know, we we want to see the unvarnished truth with feature stories. Uh, as far as public relations go, once again they are good sources for uh, feature stories. There's always somebody interesting that they know about that they would like to have featured in the media, so don't, remember, uh, don't forget to uh, check in with your contacts that you know uh, in the community that uh, happen to be in public relations that can help you out. There's that um, uh, relationship between public relations and photojournalism and journalism that um, really can't be ignored ever. All right, uh, how do we find some features? Well, think of people, think of places, think of um, programs, think of problems, and you may just want to pick a location. Um, maybe a location you pass by every day. I had one student who went out and shot a, a photo story of um, um, this one place that she drove by every day, and every day she thought, I wonder, you know, why it has that name. Why is it there? Uh, I mean, I pass this every day, but I know nothing about it. So one day she stopped, got out her camera, and she started shooting photos, and it was a really good story. And it was just a location, um, a quintessential uh, photo assignment that um, 
a lot of photography professors give is they'll just give you a location say on campus or along the main street of their community and say you know from uh, noon to six o'clock today shoot whatever's at this location you know go in front of uh, the clock on campus and between noon and three o'clock shoot what happens there yeah usually makes for a good feature story it gets a little cliched and that's why I don't do it anymore I have done it um, yeah, but you can just pick a location at a certain time and say okay what happens here at that time an idea book is kind of an old concept an idea book is something that a um, wire service or a news agency a press association would put out every day to say what is happening in the community um, you know kind of like an events calendar but also um, would list interesting people who may be in the community uh, an interesting place and it's always a good idea if you know you have access to uh, one of these idea books to just check it each day and see is there a feature photo opportunity in there uh, check your calendar there's usually a, a holiday event a season um, an annual sports event that can lend itself to a feature photo um, I'm recording this on um, uh, February 2nd 2020 the Super Bowl was just played and it's also Groundhog Day two things that lend themselves to uh, feature photos feature stories um, maybe cliched but uh, if you can put an interesting angle shed new light on it it would make for a uh, good feature story uh, vantage points think about your city is there a place that is uh, you know higher lower um, prominent in your community that needs to have some, some photos taken of it some explanation of why it's there some uh, candid um, perspective that you haven't seen before go there trends trends are usually hard to pick out unless you're really good at it um, the only trend that I've really noticed lately is in design and that is for really really bright bold colors so you, you may want to uh, go out and look at some recent designs that are in the community, say murals or uh, art exhibits or um, poster designs, and take pictures of that and the people who made them, uh, and you know ask them about this trend of bright colors, uh, usually to the point of being gaudy. So I don't like that trend. And then, of course, there's always extremes. Um, you know, think of uh, the the biggest ball of yarn. You know, uh, it, it's definitely a, a feature story. You know, uh, there's not like, um, you know, it, it was the biggest ball of yarn today, but it wasn't the next day. Um, if it happens that way, well, then it's a news story rather than a feature story. But, you know, why would someone create the biggest ball of yarn? What do people think about the biggest ball of yarn? What about the facility that houses the biggest ball of yarn? Take pictures of that and tell that story. Uh, so there's always extremes out there. The biggest, the best, uh, the largest, the smallest um, that uh, lend themselves to feature photos. So uh, for your feature assignment, you know, find something that's a person, a place, a problem or a program take some photos of it turn in your four best with complete cut lines and I look forward to uh, seeing your feature photos